What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, one time I made an orthodontist six figures in practice revenue because I was too cheap to pay for my kids' braces. So I model that entire offer, the sequence, the strategy in this video. Now, from time to time, when people come on to my Ask Me Anythings on Fridays, they'll ask questions on how to get customers, on how to grow, and all that kind of stuff. But the reality is, is it's one thing to get leads for customers. That's awesome but it's a whole different thing to monetize and turn that into profit for your local businesses that you serve in your agency. So this video is going to tee up both the lead generation strategy as well as the money-making strategy on the back end that your customers need in order to monetize in order for you to grow. Also, by the way, if you like this content, if you're enjoying it, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff and hit the notification bell because I push out about one to two of these videos per week Enjoy the video. And so back when my first kid was getting uh, his braces, I was like, dude, braces are how much money? And my kids are every two years. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, dude, I'm gonna be like 20 grand out of pocket for all these stupid straight teeth. So I thought to myself, why would I uh, pay for braces when I have this skill of acquiring customers for businesses? I'll just trade for the thing. So I went in, I found an orthodontist, I made the deal with him and I said, how many customers would I have to get you uh, in order for me to get uh, the braces for free. He said 10, sweet, I can do that. I'd never done any business with a orthodontist before, but I know how to do marketing. And I know the general principles of marketing. And the first one is sell the thing that sells the thing. But it's basically a small action, a small offering that you can make that will set up the big sale on the back end. So I knew going into that brainstorming session with my partner, Jacob, that we would have to create that as the baseline strategy. So me, knowing who my target avatar was, my wife, okay, who makes the decisions for people getting braces. I live in a house where the wife is looking for the deals, all that kind of stuff. And so the wives are who I was going after. So it was summertime and we were leading into the school year. So we were answering that question, why? Okay, why, why are we offering this thing right now? back to school, okay? So it was a back to school promotion. What was the offer going to be? There's nothing special about braces. When you offer the same thing as everyone else, the one thing that you can change and fudge around with is what? Price. And so price was the only thing. And so we got a super Alex Hermosied on this one. I said, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to do a giveaway. This is like oldest trick in the book. Giveaways are, I mean, everybody does giveaways. And we're gonna give away one free set of braces for first prize. And then second is like 50% off. And we had like these packages and, and the packages, by the way, also included like a day spa package. Okay. What I was telling the uh, business owner, cause he's thinking, I've never done anything like this before. I said, listen, you don't have to get one pair of braces to make money on the deal, not to break even to make money on the deal. So just trust me, it's gonna be fine. So we went through, we set up the giveaway and we started running ads. So there is nothing more simple than running a giveaway. Enter to win a free pair of braces. This is our back to school promotion for our clinic. That's it. I don't even remember what the ad copy was. It doesn't remember or it doesn't matter. We probably had a ton of emojis on there. We probably had, you know, whatever. That was the structure of the offer. We ran the offer for three weeks. And so we ran it, we ran it, we ran it. It had a deadline, which was good. That's the urgency and the scarcity. But then it also had the conditions on how to claim it. At the end of the three weeks, it was a three day drawing and people had to go to the Facebook page and go on to the Facebook live that this clinic was running in order to claim the prize. So everybody showed up and there was emails and everything that we're reminding them of when the live was. So on day one, we were giving away the third place prize. So they spun the thing, whatever, they grabbed the name and then on the live, they called the person, hey, Sam, looks like you won our third break, our third place prize, which is blah. Day two, day three, that's how we did it. Now, what we did after the actual giveaway is where we made all the money. How many people opted in for that thing, uh, for that giveaway? It was over 500, okay? Over 500 people opted in for, the lead cost was something silly, like three bucks. So he paid $1,500, got 500 leads, and then once the giveaway was over, 
He said, here's the consolation prize. Sorry you didn't win. However, in the next, and it was probably, I can't, I can't remember it was, if it was the rest of the month or whatever, but there was a time frame on it. We're giving you a $500 voucher for you to claim so you can get that discount off of your braces for participating in our giveaway. All right, there it is on a silver platter. That's what I actually did to not have to pay for my kids' braces. Now you can apply this exact strategy and model. Just take the principles, how we promoted it, the offers we made, and how we then monetized on the back end. That's what your customers are going to need in order to make money. Again, when people do marketing, they focus so much on how much money they're going to lose on the front end. And that is not how the game works. Marketing, advertising is the art of getting attention and sales is the art of monetizing that attention. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.